sold this hair streak. They love sea grape. Go find your green cousin. All right, here's what hair streaks do, guys. Um, there's a fulvous hair streak male sitting on this sea grape leaf, probably about eight feet up, nine feet up. And you know what? What they do is they just sit on a on a leaf like that, and they wait for females to fly by. And that's what hair streaks do. They're, they're, they sit up there and perch. They twitch their little tails, trying to distract. And uh, that's what they do. They just wait for females. Probably go get a little, they probably go get a little sip of nectar at some point. But they sit and patrol and then they sit and perch and wait for girls. And uh, any competing males that might fly by, they go into an aerial territorial battle. Ah, uh, yeah, there he is. There's our fulvous hair streak. Looking up in sea grape trees. Here, 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 Angelia. Get them? Yeah, I got Species number two. All right, this is Lorenzo going to swing at a ruddy dagger wing. Oh boy. All right. Stupid thought he can get away. Dude, dude, you gotta, you gotta swing lighter than that oh oh yeah i forgot oh at least he got all of them got all of his tails yeah excellent all right while looking for my cds you're always going to be able to find little gems like this metal mark moth tortyris tortyria slasonia you hit the right angle see some beautiful iridescent coloration but he's a little bit in the shade letting me get pretty darn close it's a tiny moth there you go oh, there he goes well Insect life, not a Mycetes, but it's insect life. Let's see. Oh, look at this. So, one of these little moth caterpillars that also feeds in the blooms of the sea grape is spinning its pupa here. So that'll be cool because it'll be cool to document what species these larvae of the amethyst hair streak are cohabitating with. And I think there's another larva. Yeah, there's another caterpillar on here. It's a moth caterpillar. So it's a neighbor of the amethyst. Oh, there's two of them. So yeah, we've got some activity going on there. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna put this right back in. We'll let him go ahead and pupate. We got two more growing on there. So we'll have three moths that hopefully come through out of this one cup. That'd be cool. We might just put these old stems in something just 
in case something pops out that I'm not aware of. My C's all day. What's up, buddy boy? Get a nice little emerge going there on the Mycetes. Are you gonna open your wings? Oh no, doesn't look like it. It's another boy. Okay, while I'm gloating over my uh, my CDs emerge in captivity, uh, I also wanted to kind of show off something else that emerged in captivity. You know, we, we keep finding all of these little moth caterpillars in with mixed in with the Mycetes larvae, and finally some of those are starting to emerge as well. They're tiny. Let me see if I can get you guys a little glimpse of who are the neighbors of our amethyst hair streaks in the blooms of the sea grape trees in my cup. Oh, there we go. There is a very nondescript little tiny brown moth. I will do my best to get an identification on it, but that is something that is habitating with the uh, Mycetes larvae on the blooms of the sea grape. These are the, the green caterpillars that are web, webbing themselves in on the blooms of the sea grape. So pretty cool stuff. And uh, we got several of those emerge. I'm gonna see if I can stick a pin through a few of those and get them identified so that we can write that up as well. Thank you.